Can I reproduce this tree bark on canvas with acrylic paint? Let's find out. Hey guys, a few days ago, I had this bark fall off a piece of firewood and I looked at it and I looked at it and I was inspired. Why would you want to paint bark, you ask? Well, if you're painting a close-up of a tree, like you have a tree in the foreground and you want the bark to show up, well, you don't want it to just be plain old bark. That's boring. Besides, it's not very realistic. If you actually do a study like we're doing today of how to paint bark, then next time you do a tree in the foreground of your painting, then you'll have a better idea how to make it look realistic. And that's my thinking. If you look closely, you can see that there, it's not just brown, it's not just gray. You know, as kids, we, we all thought of trees as being brown and that's how we painted them, and that's how we drew them. But really, if you want realism and depth, what you really want, multiple colors, at least three, I'm just going to kind of make some broad strokes, leaving some of the areas of that color, of the original color, showing through. What we're trying to do is recreate this uneven pattern here. Holding it out at the end, they say you get more control that way, but also I find that you could be looser that way. Hey, I just want to take a minute while I'm mixing some paint and say thanks for watching. And I do have a question for you. If you see, do you see anything that would help me make this painting better or, or this video? Uh, please, if you do, please comment. I'd love to hear your comments. And uh, so that's all for now. Back to the video.
okay, what I've done is taken some white gesso and added some lake blue, a little bit of phthalo blue, some Payne's gray, and finally some uh, burnt umber. And what I've come up with is this grayish color, and I haven't mixed it all fully together because I think maybe it will give us an interesting texture as we go. What we're going for is texture on this, so we just want a little bit on here. Well, there you go. Did I accomplish my mission of painting that bark on this canvas? I'll let you decide. I learned a whole bunch of stuff. One of the things I learned was that I actually prefer it upside down. I think this looks better. So that's how I signed it. Like I made it that way. But shh, don't tell anyone. Have a great day.